Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Baz Grimm, and I'm about to embark on an adventure across the country to meet Brad McQuaid. It's Operation Eridune. It is currently Thursday, the night before TwitchCon, and I'm at my apartment in New Hampshire, so needless to say, I've got a long way to go tonight. I'm about to jump in a car to head down to the airport in Boston. But before I go, I did want to just say thank you one more time to Visionary Realms for giving me the comp ticket and making this possible. Thank you, I'm very, very excited. Um, and thank you, the viewer, for coming along with me. So, let's go! that are going to TwitchCon, which is cool, and we're about ready to board, so let's go. airport um, but right now I'm just trying to track down my rental car all right well I took a bus to the rental car place got that all taken care of so now it's time to go pick out a car nice little Toyota Corolla looks pretty good this is actually a little nicer than I was expecting for a Corolla not bad at all through LA at 1.30 in the morning. My body still thinks it's 4.30 in the morning. I'm very tired, but fortunately we're not that far from the hotel. I'm this weird combination of excited and exhausted, but the, uh, the flight was smooth. Everything is going smoothly so far, so I think tomorrow's gonna be a good day, but first, sleep. So this is home base. Looks pretty nice. Well guys, I made it. Um, I would call that a successful day. I've never been to California before, so I'm excited to see what everything looks like in the morning. Um, but so far, I'm really happy. Um, I kind of feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. Um, I'm really excited, but I do need to force myself to go to sleep. I'm gonna go crash on the bed in like 10 seconds, but thank you for coming along for the ride. Um, we will see you tomorrow because it's TwitchCon 2017! I got maybe five hours of sleep, but between the time difference and me just thinking about all the things that I'm going to do today, there's no way I'm going to get back to sleep, so it's time to get hyped! I have a collection of funny nerd shirts, and today is the perfect day to start busting them out. So the first order of business, I think, is to uh, go to the Walmart down the street, grab some snacks, gotta stock up, because I'm probably gonna be up late editing all these videos tonight. Um, I'm also gonna run to the Staples, which is conveniently also right down the street, um, to pick up my business cards, because I was a total noob and forgot to bring some. All right, let's do this. It's so nice out. <laughs> Right, well, we got our business cards. Not bad considering I threw it together on the plane and ordered it at like two in the morning and they were available by eight in the morning. So good job, Steeples. Next stop, TwitchCon. Pantheon, here I come. Look at Jit. All right, we're good to go. 
Finally got my badge, stood in line, got through security, so now it's time to have some fun. This is the moment that we've been waiting for. It's time to go find the Pantheon booth. Holy crap. I just played Pantheon um, with Brad McQuaid. I think I think that I think that happened. Um, still trying to kind of process everything, but I know that I had fun. But it's pretty much everything I had hoped for. I played for I think it I think it was like an hour probably. Within like ten minutes, I was just in the game, and I kind of lost track of time. So I really don't know. I really don't know how long I played. I think I I think this is reality. I, I don't even know if this vlog is gonna make any sense because today's just been a blur. Um, but it's been awesome and it almost and this is just the first day, so I don't I hope hopefully I haven't peaked soon too soon. So I'm hanging out at the Lineage 2 booth. Um, not because I really care about Lineage 2. But because Day 9 is here, I am kind of on a little bit of a selfish mission. Um, stepped away from the Pantheon booth for a little bit to track down Day 9 because he is far and away um, my favorite streamer. He's the one that inspired me to pursue streaming. So um, I kind of got to just do this while I'm here. Although, to be honest, um, if I do get in touch with him, definitely got to tell him about Pantheon because I think he would like it. So I didn't really get a chance to talk to Day9. Um, he said hi to me real quick, but then he had to uh, get pulled away uh, to do a show, which is really unfortunate, so I didn't get enough time to talk to him. But there are two more days left, so hopefully I'll have another chance to talk to him a little bit more, although I don't know, he's a very busy guy. Well, the expo hall is closed for the day, which means I should probably also call it a day, head back to the hotel, get some work done before trying to catch up on some sleep because I am freaking exhausted. Um, but it's because it was a very fun, exciting day, and tomorrow is going to be another fun, exciting day. But before I go, I did want to look through this totally fashionable fanny pack that I got today. Mm. Um, let's see. Some buttons that will go nicely on my lanyard for Shadowverse, whatever that is. Nice little Twitch water bottle. It's cool. And, oh, an info booklet. That probably would have been useful earlier. Lineage 2 Revolution. So, that reminds me of something that I forgot to mention earlier. Um, so this was the event that Day9 was hosting. And I went to this event only because of him. But while I was hanging out at the event, waiting to meet Sean, I got invited up on stage to play the game. I didn't really get the gameplay, to be honest. I, I don't know, even after they explained it to me, I didn't really get what was going on. So then when I walked off the stage, they handed me an Amazon gift card and I was like, aha, bribery, good call. I wanted to share a couple things that I got from the Pantheon booth today, like this nice little flyer here with the halfling art on it, which looks really nice, and on the back, we got some information, just a brief overview about the game for people who might be interested in it. Additionally, 
this one with the humans on it. And at the bottom is some information about a new program that they have going on for people who want to stream the game, which is of course of great interest to me as someone who plans to stream the game. Um, basically, qualified streamers will be able to stream the game next year in 2018, which is like really soon. Um, that's before the game launches. So you'll have exclusive access to broadcasting the game. So stay tuned for more information about that because that's exciting stuff. I'm gonna call it a wrap on TwitchCon day one. Needless to say, this has been one of the best days ever. Um, and tomorrow's gonna be big too, so I will see you then for TwitchCon day two.